Hi guys, it's Brandon again. We've got a request to see if Zoom works on Chrome OS Flex here. So we're going to go ahead and test that out and see what happens. Download Zoom, I'll search for. <clears throat> Just to make it clear at the beginning, in order to get this to work, you are probably going to have to have the Linux environment installed on your Chrome OS Flex. I made a video about that. And you should also be aware that some people have been having troubles getting Linux to work on Chrome OS Flex. And if that is you, then as far as I know, there's not much you can do about it, except for checking that CPU virtualization is enabled in your BIOS. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think you actually don't need an app for Zoom. I think you can connect to a meeting over a web interface. I think. I don't. I, I run my own business, and I don't use Zoom, so I don't know that for sure. But. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at this. Zoom is a uh, Chrome extension. We don't might not even have to download anything. Add to Chrome. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see. I wonder if I got to click on it or if it's in here. Let's go to my downloads. I don't see it. Did I miss something, you guys? Is there a Zoom here I'm not seeing? Hmm. The web browser client will download automatically. Oh, when you... I don't know. I'll tell you what. We're just going to download and install Zoom for Linux anyway. I don't know what that just did. I guess I installed an extension. I don't see it here, unless I'm blind. But um, we are going to get the Linux version of Zoom and see if that works too, just to cover all our bases. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to say we're on Debian Linux. If you're downloading Linux programs on a Chrome OS Flex, you're going to tell it you're on Debian. So let's download that. But like I said, I think Zoom is also a web app that um, you probably don't even need to install this Linux version on. So this whole video might be for nothing. But if you ask, I will test it. Because I'm a nice guy, so they say. I've noticed. Um, Sometimes when you're installing Linux applications, this window that comes up right here will actually say something like there's Linux environments not found or something to that regard. If that happens to you, just open up the terminal application and that'll go ahead and start up the Linux container on here and then you can go ahead and do your thing. Just something I noticed. Yeah, that's weird. To me, it looked like an extension was happening. Let's go to manage extensions. Oh, well, there's Zoom. It says I got it. Anyway, if if you're a Zoom person, I and you're on Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex. I would, I would try this extension method first that they gave me that went to the Chrome Web Store. That's probably the better way to go, I'd guess. But, you know, if that for some reason doesn't work very good, th this Linux one is probably fine. But I'd imagine the uh, this Chrome OS extension probably works better. I mean, that's what they suggested that I get when I was on the website. So, you know, they would know, right? Right? So we're installing, we're stuck at 74%. And um, I don't know what to talk about while it's installing, other than reminding you to like my totally awesome channel if you like Chrome OS and are interested in learning about Chrome OS Flex. I should say Chrome OS Flex specifically, because actually I've never even used real Chrome OS before. But I'm thinking about uh, purchasing a Chrome OS device just so I can play around with it and see what the differences are. So if you guys have any suggestions of good ones that I could try, 
you can let me know in the comments. Because uh, I would be interested to see what the real deal is like. Even though I've been having a good time with Flex here. And I do have it installed on two laptops. This is an Asus L210M, which you can get on Amazon for just $200. Sometimes it's less, depending. And it is 4 gigs RAM, Celeron, comes with Windows 10, which you can get the upgrade to 11, but it's dog slow on Windows. It runs fine on Chrome OS. So let's try Zoom, the app. Here, it runs. I don't have a meeting to join, so there's that, and I don't have an account. But it works. I'd say there's two ways you can do it. Like I said, if it was me and I needed Zoom, I'd probably try the Chrome extension first. But uh, if you want to go all out, it installs on Linux too, fairly easily. So that was it. We tested Zoom. I think it works. We didn't test it, but we installed it. Um, I don't have anyone to test it with, but it works, I bet. So thanks for watching, you know, subscribe, like the video and all that. If there's anything else you guys want me to try out, let me know and I'll do it because I've been trying all this stuff. And until next time, I hope you all enjoy the video and have a good day. Goodbye.